when you're getting seller financing, there is a principal payment that you're making on the property, which is paying down the loan of the seller financing. Okay. There's an interest payment. If you have interest on it, if it's 4%, 5%, 8%, there's an interest payment that you're paying. Then you've got to calculate taxes and insurance in that total payment to dictate what is my monthly money that is going out, okay? What you're paying. Then you're looking at and saying, okay, what is the money that I'm gonna get in? And a lot of times what you wanna look at here is you wanna look at what the monthly rent is in the neighborhood. Now, you might ask, why, why would I look at the monthly rent? Would I look at the sale price and, and back down from there and figure out what that amount is? No, because when we're selling on seller financing or when we're renting it, we're figuring out what are people paying for rent. And when we're asking ourselves that, that's a lot of times what that neighborhood can afford. And so as long as that neighborhood can afford a certain dollar amount, if you're under that, that arbitrage that you are, that's your profit.